What is going on everybody? a and Coin Buster here back with a brand new High Limit Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's episode we're going to be doing a $100 million buy-in. And they gave us 1,000 quarters to get started today. Super, super expensive game, but boy oh boy do they got this thing loaded up good. They got like the world's largest mountain or like... I don't even know what you call that thing. We're just going to call it a the world's biggest poker chip mountain in there. The bottom layer, all the pinkish purple chips are $5,000 chips and the top layer are all $25,000 chips. Kind of looks like snow on the mountain top or something like that. You see what I'm saying? The white and the brown chips. I don't know. Just let me know what you all think about it down in the comments. But uh, the odds are this video is going to be titled World's Largest uh, poker chip mountain so wish me luck everybody hopefully this game goes really well uh, they got this thing loaded up good they got the white shelves loaded up pretty good as well two dollar sign money mr bags oh my gosh we got two one dollar chips off that right side there check that out all right let's get that out of the loot chute real quick oh my goodness it's going you all look at that it is literally going we're about to get that entire uh mountain of poker chips right there and check this out we got a green earbud there's one of them that just fell out of there that's absolutely insane this is a crazy game already hopefully all this stuff don't get stuck against the glass though that would not be good that's the last thing i want tonight it's already pretty late as i'm filming this it's saturday evening actually i thought i would stop by here and get tomorrow's video out of the way I had, you know, pretty good energy tonight, and I didn't really have anything else going on tonight, so I just thought I would go ahead and get this video out of the way. That way tomorrow, Sunday fun day. Not saying that the videos are not fun to play and play the machines and stuff like that. Basically what I mean, it's like I don't have to do a video tomorrow if I get you know tomorrow's video done right here that's what i'm trying to say so uh, anyway it is all stuck on the edge this is absolutely insane um i don't know what's going to end up happening right here but let's continue putting these quarters in here we got pretty sure there was two one dollar chips on that left corner as well so each one dollar chip is worth 503 quarters so that's technically a thousand quarters uh, we got on each side so we got 2,000 free quarters a second ago which is absolutely insane love one of those one dollar chips so I don't know how long this video is going to be right here I don't know how long it's going to take to play this game today it all depends on what type of special earbuds or special chips they got hidden in there they got two dollar sign money mystery bags so, uh, yeah, those are usually loaded up super, super good. Well, this is officially the biggest traffic jam of poker chips I've seen in there in months. All right, let's get that loose chute cleared out. All right, so, oh my goodness, wow, look at that. You all are not going to believe this. This is absolutely insane. We just got two more earbuds, and you're not going to believe it. We got a pink one and a white one. So this white one here gets us a free tower made out of $25,000 chips. And the pink one will get us a free tower of $10,000 chips. That is absolutely unbelievable. Holy smokes. This is going to be such a huge win today. Thank goodness I decided to stop by here and play tonight. Yeah, because we would have definitely missed out on this game. This game was set up perfectly. One of the biggest poker chip structures I've seen in this particular machine. Yeah, everything about this game was absolutely phenomenal. So uh, let's see if we can't push all these $25,000 chips out of here. Oh my goodness, the center's starting to go. Check that out. That's absolutely insane. Uh, we will turn in those other $1 chips we won here in just a second. I grabbed a couple quarters out of the loot chute a few minutes ago uh, just to keep the game going and whatnot so uh, we'll see if we can get all this stuff right here I mean I know what you're thinking it's all stuck on the edge 
it is a huge traffic jam of poker chips and stuff, but this is not nearly as bad as that U.S. Capitol Tower from like February, March. And I think it was March or April actually. It was April, I'm pretty sure. It's when they had that U.S. Capitol Tower in there, so. Uh, anyway, it looks like that pusher is definitely starting to struggle a little bit. If we could just get some of this money to break free, that's literally all we need, really. So, uh, let's just push across the whole field. Finish out these quarters we got in the basket right here. Hopefully, eventually, we get this to break free, because it's already about uh, 10.30 at night as I'm filming this right now. And... On average, these games like this, where we've won tons of special earbuds and stuff, they last four hours minimum by the time we have to call the staff back here to have them build the towers and get the loot chute cleared out. There's a, so much stuff that goes into it. It's like, it's insane. It's much more complicated than just playing the game and then cashing out. There's a lot of waiting and stuff like that. It's just very time consuming stuff here. Not complaining, just explaining how it works. I know a lot of people might underestimate how long this actually takes to do. And uh, I mean, the money that we're going to win tonight is definitely worth the exhaustion that we're going to get from this game right here. I can already tell you that. Because, like, tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going to have time to make a video. i got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. So I just thought, well, I've got the energy to do it. Why not stop by here tonight and uh, get Sunday's video out of the way. Hope you all enjoy this one. I uh, win or lose, we're definitely going to be posting this because it's a $100 million buy-in. One of the coolest poker chip structures I've ever seen. It's definitely a game you're not going to want to miss out on seeing. So... Anyway, let's get this loot chute cleared out. I'll try to anyway. Yeah, there might be a couple poker chips like stuck in there that's blocking stuff from going. I don't know. All right, well, anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and turn in those $1 chips we won. And uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. So I turned in those $1 chips and I got that loot chute cleared out. Uh, they gave us our 2000 extra quarters which is super nice and uh, unfortunately all this money right here is still piled up on the edge i don't know what we're going to have to do to get it let's just uh, rapid fire a whole bunch of quarters in there and see if that does the trick hopefully they all don't get like stuck behind the glass back there and it's looking like they're going to i don't know Alright, let's just see what that does. I'm going to attempt to get that loot chute cleared out if I'm able to. Hold on one second. Alright, I don't know if there's... Well, there's a couple of poker chips stuck right here. Oh my goodness, wow, nice, there we go. I don't know if there was a gold bar. Oh my goodness, wow. Holy moly, that was absolutely insane right there. We just got every bit of those poker chips to go. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. And it's still going too. Wow, this loot chute was severely clogged up. I heard a whole bunch of money fall down in the, uh, what do you call it, the opening space that's right up above the loot chute. So I don't know how much money we lost exactly, but I know it was definitely a bunch. I heard it all fall inside the machine like that. And all of our quarters are clogged up back there, so I don't know what we should do right now. I don't know if we should just wait for a minute to see if it's going to break free or call, go ahead and call the staff back here. Yeah, I don't know. What do you all think I should do? Let me know down in the comments. Here, let's drop a couple quarters in there and see what happens. The right side looks like it has the potential to break free, but the left side, I think it's completely clogged up. I don't think we're going to get anything to go on the left side. Now look at all these quarters that we stacked up in there. Just trying to get all those poker chips that were stuck on the edge. Nice, there we go, jackpot baby. That's what I'm talking about. 
Well, to be completely honest with you, I kind of wasn't expecting, you know, all those poker chips to fall down that fast. You know, I, I got those couple poker chips and gold that was stuck in the loot chute, like right here out of there. And surprisingly enough, that was actually clogging up, you know, most of the poker chips. And once the center started caving in, the left and the right side just went with it. So, I mean, you all seen it. That was absolutely amazing. But the, it's, it is looking like we're going to have to call them back here. The odds of us, you know, getting these quarters to break free are very, very slim to none. So, uh, again, I cannot speak tonight, I tell you. Sorry if I'm getting my words jumbled or mixed up. I mean, it is, you know, pretty late at night as I'm filming this. And I've had a long day today, so I apologize if I'm getting my words jumbled or I'm stuttering. I'll try to uh, edit out as much of it as I possibly can, but I... Uh, so anyway, just thought I should say that. But anyhow, um, I think we should go ahead and call the staff back here, see if they can't get those quarters out for us. And uh, anyhow, we'll get right back to pushing. We'll try to get these remaining poker chips out of here. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. So um, I have some unfortunate news and good news both. Um, right as I turn the camera off to go call the casino staff back here, um, those quarters back there that were stuck behind the glass started like falling down and I thought I pressed the record button again but it turns out I don't know what happened but it just wasn't recording so it missed some of the footage where those uh, poker chips on the right side fell yeah like all the quarters I mean I didn't even have to put any quarters in and they were all breaking free and it pushed all those chips out of there so uh anyway i think we should go ahead and turn in the green earbud first so here's all three of the earbuds we want in total just a reminder the green one gets us the white shelves the white one gets us a tower of uh, twenty five thousand dollar chips and the pink one right here gets us a tower of ten thousand dollar chips so yeah these towers right here are pretty tall so the odds of those landing on the white shelves again are pretty high and both of these right here get us free resets for the white shelves so um, I'm going to go ahead and turn in the green earbud and uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that green earbud. We called the casino staff back here. They took all those ginormous towers that was on the white shelves. So they put them all into the playing field. Uh, looks like we completely lost the humongous tower of $10,000 chips on the left side. It fell straight backwards. I mean, that's okay though, it happens from time to time. We lose stuff to the white shelf. And uh, that's why I chose to turn in that green earbud first because like, if we would have waited till the very end of the game to uh, turn in the green earbud and we would have lost stuff to the white shelf and we wouldn't have those other chips that, or the earbuds that got us the free resets, then we would have had to pay an extra $100,000 for them to put that back into the play field the stuff that we lost so but uh whenever we turn in let's say the pink earbud right up right next my goodness i cannot talk for some reason i don't know i'll probably laugh at this later on whenever i'm editing just listening to myself you know get my words completely jumbled i'm sure a lot of y'all might laugh at it as well i mean that happens to the best of us but anyway Whenever we turn in that pink earbud or white earbud, whichever one we decide to turn in first, right after this, uh, that will get us a free reset for the white shelf. But see, there's no guarantees that they're not going to make, you know, super tall towers on those other earbud free towers they're going to build for us. Like, we might lose those to the white shelves as well, but there's no guarantees, but one thing that was definitely guaranteed that we could see from the very beginning of the game, how we've seen how tall those towers were that were on the white shelf, so it was best to just try to win those first. That was my personal opinion anyway. I might have been wrong. Well, obviously not because we obviously did lose stuff to the white shelf. And we even lost the dice on that right side. I just now noticed that. Uh, these three right here in the center are actually in a very good spot. Get this loot chute cleared out. Wow. Now they even got some uh, $1,000 chips in there tonight. That's good. Yeah, it's good to see a different variety of poker chips. I prefer the $25,000 chips though over anything. So 
So uh, let me know down in the comments what did y'all do this weekend? Did y'all have a good weekend? Yeah, it's going to start getting colder here soon, I would imagine. And uh, doesn't the time change like on the 2nd of November? Or maybe the 3rd of November or something. I don't even know. Yeah, it's getting pretty close to Halloween. Three or four more days from now, it'll be Halloween. Well, let's see. Today is the... I think today is the 27th. Well, as you all are watching this, it'll be the 27th. But for me, it's still the 26th. Well, it's soon to be the 27th. It is now 11.50. So... Yeah, it's soon to be the 27th of October at this point. So, uh, anyway, we got two Dollar Sun Money Mystery Bags out of there. I'll open both of those up. And we'll see if they got any nice and valuable goodies stashed in there. Hopefully they do. Really, really hoping they got a lot of stuff in there. So anyhow, let's get that loose chute cleared out, and we'll go ahead and open up both of the mystery bags, so stay tuned for that. Just give me one second. All right, there we go. All right, so let's see. Which one should we open up first? I'm going to let you all decide down in the comments. Well, I feel like a bunch of y'all are telling me to go with the left side first, so let's start with this mystery bag right here. Yeah, these strings, they're very, very difficult to untie sometimes. The casino staff tie the strings pretty tight. All right, there we go, we got them. So let's check it out and see what we want in this mystery bag right here. Oh my gosh, wow, check it out. We got a whole bunch of dice out of this mystery bag. Let me make sure there's no more dice in there. All right, yeah, there's no more, we got them all. So anyhow, we got two more $1 chips as well. So that's a thousand extra quarters. We really, really needed that. We were starting to kind of run low on quarters again. But anyway, we got Let's see how many white dice this is right here. Well, we got three gold ones. That's pretty good. But anyhow, we got uh, seven, or no, wait, six white dice. Sorry, I don't know why I said seven. But anyhow, we got six white dice. So the white dice multiply the poker chips and the cash, and the uh, gold dice will multiply the gold bars that we win. And we've won quite a bit of gold today. Not no 100 ounces of gold or anything like that, but still, it's something. So anyhow, let's move on to the other mystery bag right here. Hopefully this one's loaded up just as good, if not better. Oh my goodness, wow, it was loaded up, I guess, about the same. All right, so we got uh, two more $1 chips. So that's, that makes 2,000 quarters in total. We're going to get a turn in here in just a second. We got two more gold dice and six more white dice. Indeed we did. So yeah, that makes 12 of the white dice we won in total. I'm just referring to the two mystery bags we just won, by the way, and five gold dice in total. And I know for a fact I've seen three, and that's the fourth one right there that was on top of those towers. So anyhow, let's get right back to touching. Uh, let's try to get both of these smaller towers of $10,000 chips out of here. I'll just push for maybe about two or three more minutes or something get two or three more minutes worth of video footage in. I probably have to play close to 10 minutes though. Now, sometimes stuff's not moving at all and I have to edit out a lot of the footage. Now just trying to make this video, I'm wanting it to be at least 40 minutes long today. 35, 40, 50 minutes. An hour would be spectacular, but I don't know. It all depends on how long it's gonna take us to get these uh, chips out of here. And who knows how large they're going to make the uh, bonus tower of $10,000 chips and $25,000 chips. And they could make those to the ceiling. I mean, just being for real with you. And lately it seems like they have been building larger bonus towers, which is good. We've you know, been needing that for a while. And uh, one another thing that I have noticed, they're, they are putting more $25,000 chips in there, a lot more than usual, which is, you know, a good thing for us, but a bad thing for them because, you know, they done that, you know, about like March, April, and May last year, 
or not last year, what am I saying? A couple months ago, they, they was doing that. They was putting a lot of $25,000 chips in there. And, uh, you know, we were winning billions of dollars every single week. And they, uh, you know, they eventually slowed down on putting $25,000 chips in there. And they went back to one five and $10,000 chips. And now they brought back $25,000 chips. Then they, uh, you know, subtracted the quantity of dice that they put in the games, and uh, then they added to it. Yeah, I think on the game from the other day, we only won like 12 white dice, or it might have been 15, and it was almost a $2 billion jackpot win. If y'all haven't seen that video, I suggest you check it out. I can't remember the title of that video, or, you know what day it was but you're welcome to search through my videos and find it and uh, FYI I did change my uh, channel name I've changed it on the 24th of October I think wait no not the 24th it might have been uh, well let's see yeah I think it was the 24th actually that's when I changed my channel name changed my name to casino coin pressure I just been wanting to change it for a very long time and A and V stood for arcade and video games and you know I stopped posting video game videos on this channel three four years ago so you know there was no point in having the A and V in there anymore it wasn't my initials for my name or anything like that It was just stood for arcade and video games, but I just thought I would change it to something, you know, high limit coin pressure related, like a casino coin pressure. I thought that would be one of the best ones to choose. Everybody seems to like it, I guess. I don't know. Just let me know down in the comments what you think about the new name. But I mean, the name of my channel shouldn't matter anyway it's about the quality of the videos we're still going to be uploading good videos every day seven days a week so i don't see why my channel name would make a difference all right there we go perfect got that loose chute cleared out so uh, anyway i think now will be a good time to stop let's go ahead and turn in that pink earbud and the four one dollar chips they will build that free tower of $10,000 chips for us, and they will also give us 2,000 quarters, so we'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. So I turned in that pink earbud and called the casino staff back here. They built us a free tower made out of $10,000 chips. They also took the two smaller stacks of chips that was on the corners. They put those like further back, and they also took the chips that we lost to the white shell. They uh, stacked those on top of those towers. Made them a little bit taller, I guess. So, uh, anyhow, wish me the best of luck, everybody. Hopefully this right here goes really, really well. They put that white dice in those $1,000 chips we lost right here in the center. Nice, so we just got the uh, white dice out of there. That's pretty good. Now, the white dice are definitely the most valuable uh, thing in the game. Right here it is. So... Yeah, that puts us up to about, I'd say, 14 dice in total. So that's pretty good. Yeah, you best believe we are going to win at least $100 million back from uh, this game right here. We've done really, really well today. So uh, let's see if we can't push this tower right here in the center over the edge of the pressure. Hopefully it goes flying straight into the payout chute. And... Uh, Hopefully we can get both of these towers on the left and the right side. Oh yeah, there it goes. I think it's going to go, you all. The one back there on the pressure, it's either going to go right off the bat or it's going to lose a poker chip at the base of it. If not two poker chips at the base of it and that's going to be a valid indication that it's about to fall down so we'll see what happens 
Only time will tell. Let's keep on loading this thing up with quarters. Definitely our best bet. So, anyway, the number for today is 1111. So be sure you comment the number 1111 down in the comments. Let's me know that you're still watching the video and tuned in. So, yeah, be sure you comment that number down below. And uh, be sure you share this video right here with a friend or a family member. I uh, post videos every single day, seven days a week, so uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also. But anyhow, if you want to share this video, all you got to do is hit that share button. And you can send this video to people through Facebook Messenger, uh, Instagram, whatever social media you use. However you communicate with people. It could just be a regular text message on your phone. Uh, you can send people the link to the video and they'll be able to watch it and stuff like that. I would recommend sending this video to as many people as possible. Yeah, the more people that see these videos, the better. It really, really helps grow the channel and stuff like that. And the uh, more support these videos can get, the better the content is the next day. So uh, be sure you share this video with a couple people at least. And uh, also, if you want to become a channel member, you're welcome to do that. Um, I'll probably give the members a sneak peek of this video right here. A Saturday night before I post the video on Sunday well it's right now 12:02. Uh, and then now it is the 27th so uh, anyway I guess you can say I'll give the members a sneak peek of the video early Sunday morning, like way before the video gets posted. I'll probably have this video on here by about, I'm going to say 1 or 2 o'clock on a Sunday. That's when I plan to have the video posted on there as soon as possible, really. Maybe earlier than that, maybe 11 or 12. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Uh, we might be able to get this tower on the right side here in just a second. Hopefully we can get it to go anyway. It's super, super close. I'll definitely try to get it all cleared out of there before turning in the white gear bud. Hopefully they build a humongous tower of $25,000 chips. Hopefully it's a uh, skyscraper tower. Would be awesome, wouldn't it? My goodness, I'm dropping quarters all over the place. I'll pick them up here in just a moment. Yeah, that's something special that I do for the channel members. I will make like uh, members only community posts and stuff like that. And only the members can see it. And I think we got a little over 20 members right now. So quite a bit. I appreciate everybody who has became a member over the past little bit and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, I give the members a sneak peek of the video, what it looks like. Like basically the thumbnail, the picture for this video, I will show the members that hours and hours before the video gets uploaded. So if you want to become a member, it'll cost you $4.99 a month and at least two or three times a week. I mean, I could do it seven days a week if we got enough members. Um, I could show you all a sneak peek of what the video looks like before I actually post it. That way you know you know what you're gonna be watching. You'll know what to expect pretty much. Or if you don't like the you know the spoiler for what the video looks like and you'd rather just wait and see it all at once, then that's fine too. You don't have to become a member if you don't want to, but I'm just telling you all the special rewards the members get pretty much. So uh, let's push on the right side for a little bit longer. Let's see if we can't get this ginormous tower of $10,000 chips to get going. 
I didn't mean to drop the basket of quarters on the floor like that, but it is what it is. Luckily it was empty. There might have been a quarter left in there. That quarter's probably gone. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times quarters, I'll drop quarters out of my hand. Like, I'll give you all an example. I normally put about that many quarters in the machine at once. Like, watch this right here. See what I'm saying? When I have a handful of quarters like that, it is very easy to drop them on the floor. So. Yeah, that's why I drop a lot of quarters most of the time. Because I'm trying to put a lot of them in there at once. I can't fit them all in my hand at one time, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of my fault, so. Yeah, I know it seems like a broken record now. This machine has been here for over a month now, but I tell you, I really, really do like this brand new machine. It definitely pushes a lot better than the uh, old one did. And I honestly prefer the white shelves and the black wall. It just makes the towers look better, I think. But uh, anyway, let's try to push this tower off the edge on the right side here. Oh my goodness, wow, check that out. It was leaning and then it fell. That's awesome. Let's get the 40 grand out of there and uh, we'll count up all these poker chips we've won and then we will turn into wide earbuds. So stay tuned for that, everybody. I'm really looking forward to it. This has been one heck of a game today already. Seems like we've been playing for five hours already, but... I mean, we've been playing probably about an hour and 45 minutes total. The camera says one hour, 39 minutes, and 19 seconds. So, not the craziest amount of time, but it seems like it's been longer, I tell you. Maybe it's because it's late at night and I'm getting tired and stuff like that. I don't know, but anyway, we still got a lot of work to do. Well, I do anyway. Um, for you all, it's just going to seem like we turn in the wide earbud, we win that tower, and then we count everything up. But there's a lot more that I have to do tonight. So um, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn in that wide earbud. That will get us a free reset for that money right there, by the way. And uh, they'll build us that free tower of $25,000 chips. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the casino staff back here and they uh, built us a free tower made out of $25,000 chips. We turned in the white earbud, obviously. They uh, took those chips that we lost to the uh, white shelves. They put those into the play field. Yeah, I was worried they were going to make very, very tall towers, uh, $25,000 chips, like on the sides over here on the pressure where they're stacked up real tall. So uh, as long as we can keep everything into the uh, play field right here, as long as we can push everything into the pay without something landing on the white shelf, then we won't have to pay any extra money today, which is what we want. So uh, hopefully we can get this ginormous spiral tower of $25,000 chips to go. I was hoping they'd make that tower a little bit larger, at least like a double what that is right there like maybe that tower another one of those stacked on top of that but it is what it is as long as we can win our hundred million dollars back it's technically all i'm concerned about so now we're making some good progress so far we just about got all the uh, spare chips off of the play field let's get that loose and spread out yeah i'm I already know this video has been very, very enjoyable today. So, yeah, I'm honestly glad I stopped by here tonight because we would have missed out on this amazing game right here. I mean, they they got quite a few people here right now. I think there's like five or six other people playing some of the slot machines, stuff like that. So, uh... Yeah, everybody's having a good time here tonight. And it is about 12.35 as I'm filming this right now. 12.35 is what time it is to be exact. So, 
we've been playing a pretty good while now. Now let's try to get that tower on the pusher to go. I'm going to put a lot of quarters in there. It's non-stop rapid fire quarters. Try to get this tower out of here as fast as possible. That way we can get through the rest of this game. we still got to roll the dice and I'll cash out and I'll let y'all know what we end up winning. Hopefully all them dice slim on some good numbers. Uh, basically for the ones who don't know, we just call the staff back here. Uh, they will put all those dice that we've won on the pressure shelf back there. And using our quarters, we have to roll them down to the lower shelf. And whatever numbers you're facing upwards, that's our multipliers for our winnings and our gold. So that's what we're going to have to do after we get this tower to go. Well, this tower's being quite stubborn, if you want to know the truth. I think it's lost that $25,000 chip at the base of it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, usually when the towers lose poker chips at the base of them, that means that they're making some significant progress. Uh, hopefully those quarters do not get stuck behind the plexiglass. There we go, we got that loot chute cleared out. Heck yeah. Well, I guess I underestimated how large this tower actually was. Uh, there's five poker chips in a row, which means there's 125 grand in each row. Uh, considering that's a spiral tower, it would be kind of difficult to count up how much that is exactly. It'd be hard to uh, get an accurate estimate on how much that is but you're welcome to try to do it if you want to let me know i mean if you want to guess how much money that is you're welcome to do that but i'm going to say that tower's every bit of eight or nine million dollars if not ten million i mean it's huge huge tower of twenty five thousand dollar chips twenty five thousand dollar chips Always pay the bills. You can always count on them to pay the bills, I tell you. In other words, you can count on those to help you get your buying money back. Yeah, we might be looking at a multi-billion dollar jackpot today. We might uh, break the casino's record and win, you know, tons of money. It would be absolutely insane. see what that does come on nice push give me something we just about got all the uh, $25,000 chips out of there super super close now let's just push across the whole field and we'll eventually get them they're all right there in the center the center pushes miraculously well compared to the corners so should be smooth sailing from here on out, hopefully. Oh yeah, there we go. I'd say one or two more good waves and uh, we'll get all that right there. See what I'm saying? That right there might be a win, just that one drop right there. Yep, there it goes. Let's try one more push just for good measure though. Try to get some of these excess quarters back. Not really worried about the quarters today, but you know, just just for the sake of the video get some more quarters all right so anyhow we got it all cleared out of there this has been a brilliant game today absolutely brilliant so now i'm going to go ahead and call them back here they will put all those white dice and gold dice that we want on the pusher back there and uh, using our quarters we got to roll them down to this lower shelf whatever numbers are facing upwards that's going to multiply our winnings and our gold by that so let's call them back here we will be right back stay tuned y'all Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I call the casino staff back here. They put all them dice that we won on the pusher back there. So let's use our quarters. Let's push them on down to that lower shelf. So this right here determines how big of a win we're going to get off of this game today. Wow, they are doing absolutely amazing. This is going to be every bit of a billion dollar win for sure, the way it is. Gold dice are actually doing fairly well as well. See what those other two are going to land on. 
Uh, just so you know, uh, the ones do not count at all. So that one right there, the one right there, and the two ones on the gold, those do not count at all, by the way. So anyhow, I forgot to count up how many dice there were in total. You're welcome to pause the video and count them up if you want to. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by all of this right here. And I'll let y'all know what we ended up winning today from a $100 million buy-in. So we will be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Oh my goodness, you all are not going to believe how much money we ended up winning today. Oh my goodness, this right here, you all, is a brand new record win for me. I am so glad that I stopped by here tonight. Something was telling me to stop by here and play. And boy, oh boy, was it definitely worth it. This is absolutely amazing. I am shaking right now. I don't even know what to say. I am absolutely thrilled. I cannot believe we ended up winning this type of money tonight. Oh my goodness. Like, this is absolutely insane. So we ended up winning $39,111,000. That was all the poker chips and the uh, cash all put together. So that right there alone is a new record win for the most amount of poker chips we've pulled from one game before. So that is absolutely fantastic. But the crazy part about it is the white dice totaled up to 59 so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 59, and that put us up to 2307549000 dollars from a $100 million investment. So that means we profited $2,207,549,000. That right there, you all, is a brand new record win for me and potentially a brand new world record I don't know if anybody else has won that type of money from one of these machines before but this is definitely a brand new record win for me I was not expecting this whatsoever and uh, we're definitely going to start playing you know more games you know when they have $25,000 chips in there so yeah I must start uh, playing these games at night time if they're going to have good setups in there like that so that is absolutely insane. I know I may not sound super excited, but I mean, keep in mind, I had found out that we had won this much money before I hit the record button again, because remember, I cashed out and, you know, they added up the dice and stuff and they told me how much money I'd won. And, you know, I, I wish you all could have seen my reaction. The first reaction is always the best, but I am still shaking from this like this is an unbelievable win definitely unexpected and a video that we're not going to be able to forget i'm pretty sure so anyway moving on on top of that we won 23 ounces of gold today not too much gold but it's still a good chunk of gold we got nine on the gold dice that put us up to 207 ounces of gold the spot price of gold is 2700 and 60 an ounce, I suppose. That means we got $571,320 in gold. That's amazing. And we also got uh, 936 quarters. So we were getting kind of low on quarters. Thank goodness we got it all cleared out when we did. Let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we got $234 in quarters. Heck yeah. So anyhow, that right there is not bad, not bad at all for a $100 million investment. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell icon that way you're up to date for future videos, and hit that share button, share this video with a friend or a family member. And uh, if you want to check out uh, yesterday's video, that will pop up at the bottom right of the screen. If you want to subscribe, that will appear at the top right. If you want to check out a video on the second channel, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. If you want to subscribe to the second channel called High Risk Coin Pressure, that will appear at the top left. So with all that being said and stated, I'll see you all on tomorrow's video. You all take care and have a fantastic day, everybody.